Hey y'all, my name is Joshua Knight. This is my community partner, Adam. All right, so we're gonna start off with palpations of the knee, okay? We're gonna identify important structures, both contractile and non-contractile. So to start with this knee right here, easiest structure to find is that kneecap. So we'll give it a slight wiggle. Now, walking inferior from there, dist oh, a little distally, is the patellar tendon, which leads down here to the tibial tubercle. Now, walking up from the kneecap, you find the quadriceps tendon right here. Back down to the tibial, um, the tibial tubercle here. We're going to go to the outside just a little bit, and that slightly raised structure is the uh, is Gertie's tubercle, the insertion site for the IT band. Now, going over here just a little bit more, a little more laterally, that's the fibular head, that knobby structure here, and then back to the patellar tendon. So this is the joint line, right this little gap right here. And from there, I'm gonna keep walking back, walking posterior until I find this cord-like structure, the LCL, thickening of the, uh, of the joint capsule itself. And then, I'm Adam, I'm going to bend your knee. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Superior to that, is the lateral epicondyle for the knee, right here. And then there's also the tibial plateau. So below this joint line is the tibial, uh, the tibial plateau. All right, then switch legs, please. All right, maybe just a little less, there we go. So back to the kneecap. I'm gonna find that medial um, joint line. And then I'm gonna come to the inside so I feel a cord-like structure. That is the MCL right there. And then the, there's also the tibial plateau just below it. Now, um, all right, going up from the joint line. So here, joint line, up from that. That is the medial epicondyle, the larger of the two condyles. Then, let's see. All right, go ahead and relax this one and bend this one up again. For this knee, knee right here, an important structure associated with the knee is the uh, is the lateral uh, the lateral malleolus for the ankle, used as a landmark for knee goniometry. And on this side, right here, the greater trochanter, which is also the uh, is the other important landmark for the um, for knee goniometry. All right, Adam. Go ahead and uh, straighten out your leg for me. Give me a slight flex, please. Good, okay. Nice and easy to see. The vastus lateralis, this little cleft right here in the uh, musculature. Relax for a moment. Now, if I go back to the patella tendon and I walk my way up to the, from, the quad, from there to the quadriceps tendon and also feel from the vastus lateralis and I feel a slight dip right here, that is known as his rectus femoris. Coming to the inside, flex your knee again. There we go. This fleshy uh, musculature right here, that is the vastus medialis. All right. So Adam, go ahead and uh, flip over for me, leg prone. Thank you, sir. All right. Bend your knee ever so slightly. Just hold it there. So, first, the popliteal fossa. Moving medially, the first cord-like structure we find is that semitendinosus uh, tendon. Then if I go just a little bit deeper and a little bit more medially, see, right here, we have the vastus medialis, oh, sorry, uh, the um, semimembranosus, sorry. Back to the popliteal fossa. Kind of a little gap right here. If I walk out, I don't have to go very far before I find the biceps femoris tendon. All right, go and relax for me, man. And that is the uh, that is the video, my video on the uh, palpations of the knee. Thank you.